I have my liner brush and I'm just going to wet it a little bit and roll it in some of this brown and I'm going to come in and just make a couple little curly cues. Okay, I just done a few. I didn't want to go crazy. I am going to go over this one again, um, just in part. I'm going to come in here with my um brush and just put in a little brown make it um, just kind of color in right in here even though we have the background I just kind of want it to be like a scruffle look right here maybe like a um, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the brown and um, green and I'm gonna try it just to see like a like a leaf in here. That's really what I'm just going for the illusion that there's a leaf or something in here. And that green and that brown will be just just fine for giving me that. Some more over here. I'm just going to pick up a little brown. Just a little coming in. Not really drawing out anything as far as having a I'm gonna pick up the green and brown um, you just kind of think maybe there's a leaf or something there and I think we'll do one more right in here just a little make it pretend that we're giving it a little um, leaf bring some more of that green in here kind of blends in a little bit and then maybe a little more in here a little darker of the green basically our our um, gives us some leaf color in there I washed and dried my brush wet it just a little bit this I'm gonna use this uh, mint green and brown that I made earlier and I was just using I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna try to roll my brush in it to make it like an ink and I'm just going to come up right along here. I think I may come up right along in here and do another one. And probably along in here and do one. I might be got that too wide there, but that's okay. Let me see what we can come up with. Alright, I'm going to try it there to see what I, if I like it first. And if I do, then we will um, see what we can do for the other ones. I've got some white on my palette, and I'm just going to put a little bit, I'm going to wet my brush. I'm going to put it in here a little bit just to, to wet it down a little bit. And I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to make me some little leaves. I might come to the thicker side and just make me some a little easier. I can always come back in with another coat, y'all. And we can always come back in with some um, shadows. Okay, I'm just kind of going over my green a little bit just to give it a little shadow in there, too. And I can tell you, I like that. <laughs> I think it looks pretty. So, we'll see what else we can add. I want to come back in here. 
I've got about putting just a little white on there. I'm going to do the same thing in here. Okay, I'm going to come right in here with just a little white. And then we just bring this down just a little bit because I don't want to come down too much because I have this other shade that I put in there all ago and you didn't even see it. I was so proud of myself. Y'all thought it was looking really good and then I look up and you're not even on. Okay. So I'm liking that. I think I'm going to use the same thing for my other ones down here. So I'm coming back in with a little bit of water on my brush. Pick up some more of this green. And I'm going to try to come about halfway right here. I'm just going to try to come across. Swirl it up just a little bit. It's kind of dirty on my brush, I know. I'm going to bring this one down like that. Um, i try to get it even. See, that's my problem. I got too much water on my brush. I'm gonna pick up that again and try to come in here and fill in some of this. So I may have to take some of that one over there off. <laughs> Get them. I want to get them even if I can, and that's wrong. <laughs> it's just not thin enough to run my. There we go. I'm gonna come in here with some water, and I'm gonna take this one off yet. So I do have a clean paper towel. So we're coming up to about along in here. So that's where we want to bring this paint to. Starting right here. I know it's a little weird looking compared to that one, but this one's a lot bigger pumpkin. All right, so I'm coming in here with the white. You can see. I think you can see what I'm doing. I'm um, just making my leaves again. So at this point, I'm just going to um, make one here and one here. They don't have to be the same size. And they don't have to go in the same direction. Um, because that one's going that way and this one's going this way. So this is where it just takes a little time. Now I can't tell you that I count them and have them perfectly um, in line because I don't. So we're gonna come down with this one. We're coming down with this. There we go. We're actually going up. I told you down, but we're actually going up. Because this one here just I had to get that one on there so I could get this search landing. Because it either had attached to this one or it had attached to the other one. Wherever you want to attach it to is you. I just wanted mine on there.
and I noticed up here some of these are a little still a little lighter than I want I can just come back in and give them a little darker fill in so I mean that's that's something we'll work on to see if we want to I want to put another coat on because it's very possible I do Okay, so at this point, I've got these leaves going this way. I'm going to put this one straight down and then go from here to here. I'm going to start slanting these that way. Okay, this one I'm going to just to come in here and save myself. There's not a lot of room for another one except right here. I'm just trying to figure it, get it to look about the same on the both sides. Back to the side because it's easier for me not to have it sitting there in my lap and I can get my hands in there hopefully a little easier. All right, so these has got to come this way. I'm just going to wipe my brush off. I'm not going to worry about, um, I'm just wetting it a little bit and then I'm going to try to come around. Oops, got too much on there y'all. It's clumping. Come around from here to here and then I'm going to wet it some more. I mean, not wet it, um, get me some more, and I'm going to come around here to here. Um, I think this is one I've got to turn, y'all, again, to get it to me. <laughs> and then I can do this one while I'm here. All right, so I'm coming to here. this same colors it's just that gray that was under and some green and then I'm coming from here now while I'm here I'm just gonna go ahead and take my green um, and I'm just I'm gonna how am I gonna do this let's see this is gonna be the center so I'm gonna do a little bit right in here and go up in here and then I'm coming here whoops it's not straight oh well and I'm coming here so that gives us that shade too my wash brush is uh, washed and cleaned and I'm going to pick up my little white here and I'm going to start um, going this way I think I'm going to just put this one this way and right now we'll just have to go in here like that. All right, and I'm just going to run in here. I'm going to bring my um, white over it a little bit. And then we're just going to try to scoot us a little bit of white ones in here. 
Some may not have as much on one side. <laughs> So right here I'm just going to put one up and I'm going to put one down and I'm going to change my directions. So it looks like it's a little cl clustered there but you know this was a smaller pumpkin and um, we got to do what we got to do. This is very tight, so I'm doing one on one side, one on the other. Okay, so I'm just coming back in here, oh so gently. When you're holding that canvas, I mean that on palette, sometimes it, you forget that it can get right in the way of y'all's view, and if it did, I am sorry. So at this point, I'm just going to put it this way, and then I'll come in here with this one, and I can come back in here with one there. Now would be the time that if you look at them and you decide that you want to put, make some a little darker. Um, the white is just not bright enough for you. You can do that. Um, so I'm going to do that off of camera because it's just it's a little tedious work you can see if you need it to let it do. You might want to let it dry and then go over them and see. Um, which ones you want to do with a little darker white. Um, but we will be back within a second step for these. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and put the um, other coat on my um, little things here. <laughs> my little um, leaves. And I'm going to, I still have my liner brush. It's still wet. And so is my canvas right here. Keeps getting me. Um, I've gotten really. Anyway, um, so what I'm doing is since I still have my brush and it's wet, I've just come in and got a little white on my brush, and I'm going to do this ever so lightly. I'm just going to come to these little brown and put some little highlights on them if I can. I don't want everything to be white, and I've got too much there, I think, but I'm going to put a little bit in here. So it just gives it a little something extra there. Okay, I had to bring it to the dining room so we could see it. Um, I will tell you, I'm not going to redo it, but I, this on the bottom, I wish I had curved it up a little bit more on the, on the very bottom, but it's okay. But... Um, I am really liking it. I really do. I think it's really pretty and I just wanted to bring it here. I'm having to pull away from everything to show you because it's so, it's so humongous. <laughs> um, biggest canvas I've ever done so far. But yeah, I'm just gonna bring it up close and let you see each pumpkin. There's the blue one, the tan one, the green one, and the little one hid behind the flowers.